Welcome to Good Mythical More. After all of that Doritos worship, now it's time to get some Doritos knowledge. Yeah. So we're gonna learn some trivia about Doritos. It's gonna make you see those bags of triangular goodness in a totally different way. But first, let's tell a story. Doritos. Kill. <clears throat> Lays. When they. Slice potatoes because corn better <laughs> Doritos kill lays, lays because they slice potato. No, they slice Doritos. Potatoes. Kill because lays when they slice potatoes because corn better. Yep, yep. I think that should be the slogan. Uh, that's a nice little piece of trivia. When did Doritos' new and most famous slogan first become a thing? And it was the 10 word story yeah, on yes, an yes, episode yes, yes. of Good Mythical More. Yep, mm -hmm. that's it. Doritos kill lays because they slice potatoes because corn better. Yes. Two becauses. Was there two becauses? No, there was a win. Doritos when, kills lays when, when they slice potatoes because corn better. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You, Give us uh, some trivia. Yeah, how do you feel about your Doritos expertise? Well, I don't know. I was going to ask you how mm -hmm. you feel about what happened there because, like, when seeing that unfold as someone who wasn't on the panel making the decisions, mm -hmm. were you like, ah, Tapatio just got in there at the end and just went home with a victory and it doesn't feel justified after all the, the ground that Doritos Cool Ranch uh, Flame and Hot stood. Like, I mean, how do you feel about it emotionally? Stephen? I think that you were, um, well, I was gonna say that I, I think you were respectful, except for that part where Link was really mean to the panel. But I think you were respectful to Doritos. I think you really, what you showed is that like, the majority of Doritos flavors are delicious. Yeah. And, you know, Cool Ranch Flamin' Hot was up there for a significant period of time. You were telling the people, but this, if is, it was this a is a thing. Uh, and I enjoyed the opinions of the panel being involved because, you know, it, it became more of a democracy that way. I know, but if if the Cool Ranch Flamin' Hot was against the Tapatio, which one would have won? That's it's tough the to question. know. It's tough to know, but isn't that just like, isn't that just representative of life? Like, how many, I mean, how or often, at least how competition. often are you just like, is it always this perfect little like tournament where all the matchups and you try them all? It's just like right time, right place. It's alphabetical. Tapatio gets in at the end. Right. You know, I think it's just more representative of life. Well, and also the sweet and what was it? Sweet and spicy. Mm hmm. Sweet and chili. Sweet chili, yeah. Beat it already. So that's too, too, yeah. I, I mean, I see what you're saying. You seem upset, Link. I'm not upset. I just, um, when you're it's a weird got, feeling. When you're fave, it's a weird away. feeling when like something's dominating. But hey, you're right. That's how, that's how it is in like tournaments too. It's like you see things in a tournament and then there's an upset. And then you got someone who's just like blasting their way through the brackets and then they get knocked out. You know, it's on game day. It happens. Yeah, somebody gets so sick, I'm somebody gets hurt, it. you know? It's like, it's not a perfect world. I mean, come on, guys. All right. Tapatio's the best Doritos. How does that make you feel? Okay, I feel like we need to close the door. We need to have closure, and we need to feel like, you know, okay, that door's closed, and we're I think on. the tension is good, Stevie. Okay, we're gonna forever. It, here's the thing. I, I don't, I'm not comfortable saying that the Tapatio is the best Dorito flavor ever, I'm comfortable saying that it won this tournament. It's it was the, like, it was the best flavor today in the setup. Right, and that's that that's true, of that, that's how sports work. And what's your life gonna be like today? We don't know. Some days are better than others. If somebody in a purple, a purple jogging suit just barrels over you when you walk out your front door, you're probably not gonna like spicy nacho Doritos today because they come in a purple bag. Give us some trivia. We can't predict what's gonna there happen There is no to you closure. Today. And people who, by the way, people who jog in full purple 
It tend to be wild That's and crazy. Cool. That's cool. Yeah. Call me. Where were Doritos alleged to be invented? We're not alleged. looking for a city or state. It's a specific place, a specific what? destination. Why are you saying alleged? Uh, well, I mean, I have I have the answer and a quote from a publication, but I mean, who's to say? When you say probably Doritos, a location. You mean like the kitchen? Do you mean a, a geographical lo- lo- le- location? Um, yeah, I mean a geographical location, a destination. Um, I think it's a little unexpected. The Galapagos. New York City? <laughs> yeah. I think New York City. I said I'm not looking for a city. Yeah, that's why I said Galapagos. A kitchen. Okay, it's a theme park is the hint. Six Flags. <laughs> Six Flags over New York City? Bush um, Gardens. Carowinds. <laughs> well, if I say it's a theme, what's the like number one theme park? I'm not going to say Disney. I'll say mm-hmm. Disney. Disney. Yeah. Disneyland. It's Disneyland. Wow. Uh, what's the story here? Thrillist says, Frito-Lay used to have its own Tex-Mex restaurant in Frontierland called Casa de Fritos, which bought tortillas from a vendor. The salesman from that vendor had suggested the cook turn the rejected tortillas that fell apart into chips rather than throw them out. Mm -hmm. The cook did just that, and Frito-Lay didn't fully realize what was going on until marketing VP Arch West swung by on a family vacation and spotted the chips. He begged the contractors to mass produce the things and pitched a plan to his bosses, who were very into the whole scheme. (laughs) However... Arch West's obituary called this story into question when it stated that he came up with the idea on a family vacation in San Diego. <laughs> See, alleged. That's See, where the alleged it, comes in. The story that you just told, it seemed like it was an origin story for tortilla chips. <laughs> like, there's nothing about cheese powder. Like, right. Oh, the fr- oh, Chase is saying the first Doritos were just tortilla chips. Well, yeah, that's definitely true. Because so, you, do, they, tortilla they, they, the chips were invented ones. in D- uh, Disneyland? That can't be right. Well, this is an interesting question because we know that tortillas originate from Mexico, but did making them into these fried hard chips apparently it happened? Did that in not happen in Mexico? Wow. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. Y'all looked that up today. There's something else that we talked about. Oh, that was an episode of BFBA. Nachos were invented because uh, Americans crossed the border into Mexico and went to this specific bar and asked uh, the bartender if he had any snacks, if he could make something. And the bartender's name was Nacho. And he took tortilla chips and put cheese on them and then brought them back. And they were like, this is delicious. And that's how nachos were invented. Oh, I'd like to meet that man. Yeah. Shake, shake, his, shake his cheesy hand. Sounds like no matter what we believe, Americans are trying to ins- insert themselves yeah. into the origin <laughs> of nachos. That's, I mean, it was yeah. definitely America. Definitely. <laughs> well, no, the Americans ordered it. It's not, they didn't invent it. Which comedian got in trouble for claiming Doritos was sponsoring his satirical presidential campaign? Kanye West. (laughs) Oh, we know how you feel. Um, Comedian who is running for president as a joke and said the Doritos were sponsoring it. What what year was this? I guess that, I don't think it would help too much. 2008. Who was big in comedy in 2008? Stand up. Um, Andrew Dice Clay. No. <laughs> not, that's a little late for him, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is late. Kevin Hart. It's someone who's into political comedy. Uh, Bill Maher. John Stewart. Mm-hmm. Political comedy. Not John Stewart, but it wasn't John. Oh, uh, 
Mulaney. Last week, tonight, with... John Oliver. John Oliver. No. Oh. Is he a U.S. citizen? Bill Maher? Already said no. that. Oh, you said that? Yep. Um, he has his own late night show. Oh, Stephen Colbert. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he announced his candidacy on the Colbert Report, calling it... Colbert Report. <laughs> Hail to the cheese, Stephen Colbert's... Nacho Cheese Doritos 2008 presidential campaign, but it was not sanctioned by Doritos, and he just used Doritos. Yeah, this is he the, had to he had to qualify, he had to clarify it. Hmm. Doritos should have gone with that. It was a great opportunity for what them. a career. I mean, what a he, career he was uh, still going. <laughs> yeah, but he was Stephen Colbert, the character. Yeah, and then he became Stephen Colbert, just the person. Yeah, and it it was it not worked. a seam. It was seamless, it, it, it but it was worked. it was kind of gradual because he had that when he had his own show, he was playing a character, right? He was playing this like sort of like right wing right. news guy, and then when he got his own show, it was like he still slip into that, but then he's also being himself. Does he slip into it? Uh, I, I can't at, say that I watch it, at, but I at, do respect it as a joke. Oh, he still does it. I didn't think he still did it at all. Well, I don't watch that often, so I'm, no, you don't. I'm sort of speaking out of school. I'm speaking right through a Dorito here. Okay. You don't feel like there's a dark cloud hanging over us? You think it's good tension? I feel like there's a dark cloud. You dark mean Doritos because we cloud. said Tapatio is the best Doritos flavor, and you feel like maybe that's not true because they just stood for one. I day. didn't say that. I think that you're holding on to turmoil, and that's why I suggested closure, but you both didn't want to close But what would we anything. do? How do you call it? What do you do? I feel like it's You just, just say, we just say it's null? We nullify the whole thing? No, you don't, no, you- My team you, didn't win. I you, mean, this is how it feels, Stevie. This is how it feels. My team didn't win. I think we should sit with the discomfort. Sometimes you need to sit with that. Like, listen, this whole idea right. that you should always be happy, that's a really unhappy idea. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? The, fact that, right. the, the thing that you should be trying to do every single day is to be happy? Well, good luck with that. Good luck being happy with that. <laughs> Sit with the mm -hmm. sadness. Yeah. Sit with the discontent a little bit. It's there for a reason. It's part of the human experience. Learn how to sit with it. Let it pass. And then appreciate the happiness when it comes back. But don't try to wake up and be like, if I'm not happy today, I won't be happy. What? And, and I think that was the closure that I needed. Yeah. Come on, Look bro. at me. Go, oh, go, go to the store. A weight's been lifted off. Have a tapatio Dorito. Think to yourself, you know what? These might not be the best, but today they were the best. Mm -hmm. And they're in the rafters. Yeah. Forever. Unless you've already taken them down. Uh, no, no, they're, they're, they're forever. How, how, how's that for uh, closure, Stevie? Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it translates. Uh, I think... I think we should get into more trivia. <laughs> Link wants to move on. What unusual activity took place at the funeral of the founder of Doritos? Mm, they, um, they fried him. It was a performance of some type, wasn't it? In a way. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. It was a ceremony. As they were lowering him into the ground, everyone made the triangle signal, which is when you touch each nipple and your belly button. Do that. Everybody I'm do not that. touching my nipples. Everybody went, at home. higher. Touch your nipples and your belly button. And the ratio, like whether that's an equilateral triangle or an isosceles, and if it's a, what's the one where they're all different? Um. What is that? What's it when the, they're all three sides? What's are a rhomboidal triangle called? Come on, scalene. Scalene. If you have a scalene triangle between these, there's nothing wrong with that. It just makes you unique. Morgan, why do you still know that? Uh, yep. Get, ri get rid of that knowledge, man. No, no, no. It's Make great room for stuff it's that's great. useful. No, no. That's not how it works, man. It's great. Hold on to scalene. Scalene. That's scalene. it, baby. That's it. That's so close. But <laughs> if I had a daughter. I would have named her Scalene. Was it was it Doritos related? Scalene, 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 Scalene. Oh, please don't touch your nipples and your belly button to show everybody that it's not the same. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah. They say, they sang that song at the funeral. Is it Doritos related? It is, yeah. So it, it's Ooh, a twist is... on an otherwise common. He yeah, got they crumbled the Doritos got, and threw them on top of the coffin. He got close. Dipped. You're closer with that. Um, Nacho cheese. <laughs> no. His casket was wrapped in dust. They buried him with a bag of Doritos. They, uh, Everyone threw a chip on his grave. Oh, okay. Wait, you should have crumbled it, really. Threw a chip on his grave? Mm-hmm. Uh, you can throw a chip on our grave, so to speak, by going to our Amazon store, amazon.com slash mythical. Uh, One-stop shop for tech accessories like these pop sockets. Boy, these are fun to play with on your, on your phone. Speaking of phone, you can put this case on your phone. Look at that. Hi, daddies. It doesn't have to be an iPhone. You can do it for this one. Whatever I phone this fits into. Um, yeah, reissued designs logo wear also. Amazon.com slash mythical prime shipping. I do want to come up with something that people can do at my funeral like that. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just steal his idea. <laughs> Throw Doritos on my grave. Yeah, but well, then you're well, gonna have to decide Doritos which kind of Dorito, and that's gonna become a whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a taste test. And then the best Dorito gets thrown on my grave. What are I'll Cool Ranch Doritos called throughout Europe? Because they don't have ranches over there. That's mm -hmm. an American thing. Mm -hmm. um, what do they call ranches? They are very cool, though. Ranch is an American invention. I don't think it has anything to do with ranch. So it's, they're going to completely replace ranch with something else. Like... But I think the cool part is probably still there. So it's going to be like, cool canyon, cool, mm. cool onion, cool vibes. Co um, is cool part of it? Creamy cool. Yeah, cool's part of it. Cool cream. Cool, cool spice. Spot of cool. <laughs> Okay, there are actually, well, it's probably more than two, but here there's there's two different ones. There's one for the Netherlands, Iceland, that area, and then there's one in the UK. They're called something different. Iceland, I need a hint. They're just called a little less cool than our surroundings. <laughs> well, you said ranch is an American thing. That's a good hint. Cool, cool. farm. Yeah, cool farm. Uh, cool Valley. That sounds good. Cool Fjord. Cool, cool Mountain. Cool River. Cool well, stream. Well, I said ranch is an American thing. That's a good hint. Cool, uh, uh, cool American. Cool Burger. Yeah. Cool American. And then in the UK, they're called... They're called cool American. Cool American. In the UK, they're called Cool Original. Cool Original. Wow, so, uh, so they th eat Cool Ranch chips over there in the Netherlands. And they think that they're flavored cool like American. Cool Americans. That makes me feel good about our, our rep over there. Does it have like you know some movie star with sunglasses on? Tom Cruise. Tom well, Cruise with a pair of glasses, but they're just two Doritos. One more for the road. In 2008, Doritos asked the British public to help them make an ad. The winner, as chosen by Doritos, got broadcast in what very unusual place? BBC 16. <laughs> broadcast you know, in... You know, there's numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. BBC 4, BBC... Does it go up to 16? No, that was a joke. Oh. Um, broadcast in this very particular space. Mm -hmm. Space. Pulsed out on radars over the course of six hours. And here it is. This went to space. They love stop motion in space. They're bowing down to it. Taking the lid off. Oh, gotta get, oh, oh cover all the evidence. Uh, uh, play dumb. What about that one chip that got sauce? Oh. There it is, Rhett. Yeah, that feels very like 2008. Yeah, it does. What year was it? 2008. 
Oh, it was 2008. Did you already say that? Well, yeah, I already said that. But what did you say? Oh. 2000 what? Late. No. I said 2008. You said 2008. But I. Okay. But you were I guess I was this. just re recalling, but it does feel very 2008. Yeah. <sighs> Man, sad cloud hangs over us. Need mythical merch in a hurry? Well, try Amazon.com slash mythical for grooming, logo wear, and reissued designs delivered with lightning fast prime shipping.